Welcome back everybody to a very short video on showcasing how you can build a spraying system or a recoil system. So here is a quick demo of how it's going to work. So I've made these two sliders that represent the recoil amount. Here I have the Y amount, which means the up and down amount, and the X amount, which means the left and right. So I'll leave them both at zero for now, and we're going to see that it actually has no recoil as we can see every single bullet goes into the same position so here is the gun with the recoil so i'll bump it up to a high value in here and here is how it works so as we can see it actually works and it works quite well actually if you take a look in here, it, you can see how much of a recoil it takes each round. And if you pay attention, after 3 or 4 seconds, it lowers down to a lower value. Okay, so how you can build this is actually not that difficult. I'm using two scripts. I'm actually using the Easy FPS Assets from the Asset Store. And this is the oversimplified version of it. So you have a mouse look script, which is attached to the root game object. Then after you do that, you need a camera object, which is right here, as a child of this object in here. So the basic structure in here is that this game object rotates only in this way, which means the y-axis, and the camera rotates only up and down this way. So we avoid having our camera looking like this, which can be very, very trippy. So that's the basics how you can make a FPS camera in here. Uh, the next thing that you are going to need if you want to build this recoil system is a gun script, which is also found in the Easy FPS asset. But this is also a oversimplified version of that script. So all I have is this. Uh, you can actually just pause the video and you can just write everything down. Here is the script. Here is the fire function, which is not being set up yet. The animations, which also has not been set up yet. And here is the recoil mathematics. So the recoil function gets called every time we want to fire our gun. And then after we call the recoil function, it calls a recoil X position and Y position. And this does some math inside it so we have a random value and then what we can do that is say minus 0.5 which is going to give us a value of 0.5 to 0.5 then what we can do with that is actually very simple we can decrease the randomness of that even more by, by dividing it by two and then after we do all that math we can just multiply the recoil amount so this recoil amount is a simple float variable and this y amount is also a float variable but this has a time so if time exceeds a recoil time which is given in here for for now which it, which means four seconds if been if we've been shooting for four seconds non-stop the recoil should drop by four or maybe five it's not been tweaked yet and then after we do that we give it a math absolute so we don't want to go into negative and then we just simply pass it into the mouse look script so this is how the mouse script looks like it has all of these functions and as i said we need a camera to control the y-axis as we can see in here the camera camera local rotation and in here we change only one axis so this z rotation should be a float variable which is should be always zero and then we have this transform which i just said which is the actual root object this one and that one only rotates in one axis so that's basically how you can build a relatively good working recoil system so here is the game one last time with the recoil system working
And here is the game without the recoil system working. So thank you for watching. I'll be back with another video regarding the FPS series. And uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next videos.